why would a grown-up behave like a child it's not an insult guys it's just that a grown-up is supposed to understand that medicine is supposed to be taken according to the doctor's instructions if the syrup is supposed to be taken three times in a day do not come because you're coughing and take it like every other hour you are taking a, a, a you know a teaspoon or a tablespoonful and it is written very well one times three you're only supposed to take it in the morning lunch hour and then in the evening but here you are and you are grown up you are coughing 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 but then you take that syrup within a day the the whole bottle is gone this is because you're sick and somebody asks are you taking this medicine and you have just taken an hour earlier and and, and says but i'm feeling bad what do you call that drug abuse I'm expecting this thing to happen with children, not a grown person. And in fact, it should not even happen with children. You should take instructions from the doctor. Even if you buy medicine from a pharmacy and you're instructed to take one times three or one times two, please obey because there is a reason why this medicine is supposed to be taken that way. You don't have to behave like, a, like a, you want to get well. Medicine is taken so that it heals the body. You cannot just take medicine, you overtake it, you, you overdose it, that because you are sick, okay, I'm taking so many times so that I get better. What is this? There are some sicknesses like now cold and flu. Do you know this uh, treatment sometimes can take even up to seven days? And you have to be patient. You have to be patient because there are some, not some, sicknesses in the body. There's a, there was the, the period that this, uh, I mean, uh, if it's a bacteria or a virus that entered into you, and there's a way that the medicine you are taking will clear it out within, uh, within a duration of time. But it will not go the very first day because you have overdosed yourself. Guys, some cough syrups are sweet. They are not the yak. You know, there's medicine that is yak, and you simply do doesn't want to take it. You simply don't want to take that medicine because it is yak. But the, like the syrups, syrups are uh, so most of them th that I'm talking of the cough syrups because the case that I'm discussing here is cough, 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 cough. Somebody is coughing and this person is a grown up. Then they continue taking medicine every hour, every hour. Give me that medicine I take. This me. And a whole day, somebody has emptied a whole bottle. Guys, what do you call that? Isn't that annoying? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Those that are new here, please we are welcome to this channel. <laughs> There's a channel that we discuss issues of life. And guys, <laughs> this is an issue of life. You're welcome to this channel. Please subscribe and, and we get to become our friend. There is no charge in subscribing. You just subscribe. It is free. You just give a love offering <laughs> into this channel and become one of us. So you are welcome. Please subscribe. And for the returning ones. Thank you for, for returning. Thank you for watching our videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. God bless you all. Yeah. You bless me, God is going to bless you. Because by subscribing, you are blessing me. Because I'm growing in this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And come again. So now, when you hear me discuss this, this issue about medicine, it is because some grown-ups behave like children. And it is not even like children. You wonder. Yes, you should know that medicine takes time to heal the body. But you should not overdose yourself simply because the syrup is sweet. And you want to take and take and take. And you want to think that you are going to get better within a day because you have overtaken, overdosed yourself. It is not good. I know everybody knows that. In fact, I don't have to tell you that. This is medicine. It can even bring some side effects. It can bring side effects because when it enters in the system in, in, in quantities that is not required to, 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 to uh, enter the system, the body, then it can harm you. It may harm the kidneys. By the way, medicines, medicines, too much medicines will harm your kidneys. And um, I don't know how, I am not a doctor, but I cannot overemphasize this, that uh, even the painkillers we take, you are feeling pain, then you go and buy Panadol, and uh, that is a painkiller for those who don't know. Then after some time you take, then after an hour or two you take another uh, dose of Panadol. 
then at because you are feeling pain you keep taking then you feel like okay i think i'm going to ask for the more the stronger version of of painkiller that because of the pain that i'm having then you go and ask at the pharmacy which other you go you come and take guys you are kidding yourself and i'm not a, a doctor but i know this because medici medicines should be taken the way you are advised by the doctor don't overdose yourself this was done by a grown up and i thought i should talk about it here because here we discuss issues of life and tell you to be patient with medicine you can be sick and feel very painful but you don't expect to be to to just overdose or take a lot of medicine so that you get better medicine has to be given time to work on the body to heal you to treat you but not not overdosing yourself you'll be causing a lot of harm to, uh, i mean to your body than uh, good so guys thank you for watching this was just a short one uh it has happened it is an issue of life this is something that i noticed somebody doing it and it was annoying by the way it was annoying forgive me for getting uh pissed up <laughs> guys you know we, here we discuss everything so this is an issue of life we we'll see you in the next one please subscribe bye bye